folks. How you all doing? Hope you're all doing well. Um, sorry for the delay in videos, but if you'd watched my last video, last couple, last three, I don't know. Um, I did mention that I was going away. So yeah, I went away. It was only for a couple of nights when I'm at Alan. And then when I got back, sat there, I went knackered, so dozed off for a couple of hours. And now and his family came round. And we carried on the partying that we've been doing whilst we're away. And then I went out on Sunday with Sanjay. And uh, I didn't film. And today is uh, Friday today. So I just thought I'd get out, make two or three videos today. Reason being, tomorrow, that's nice. We're uh, going to be having rain. And Sunday too, so it looks like the bike's going to be stuck in all weekend, well, and for most of the week. So my missus is going to love that. She's uh, grown acquainted to not having me in at the weekends. And it's going to bake my noodle, it really is. It's going to do my head in. It just properly is. But it is what it is. I know, like I said, like, I'd ride in all weathers, and I still mean that, but I wouldn't purposely go out if it was raining. I just don't see the point. If I got caught in rain, so be it. You know, if I went out and I knew there was going to be a chance of rain, and I thought to myself, oh, well, you know, um, I've got till, I don't know, four or five o'clock before it starts raining, and it started raining earlier than that, it wouldn't bother me. So yeah, um, England won the world, oh my god, I'm all about shut up man, we beat Germany finally, after how many years is it, 55 years, it was a brilliant match, loved it, loved every second of it, and we needed it didn't we England, we really did, after all the bloody lockdowns and everything that we've had, we really needed it, so well done England, well done, um, we'll be having a few tinnies tomorrow night, watching England, Ukraine, Oh, I'm really, really buzzing. I need to get some fuel. I've been riding this bike for about an hour with the uh, fuel light flashing, and I don't even know. I think it says when it starts flashing there's 1.5 litres in, according to the handbook. But I've been here before where it's been flashing, as you can see there. I hope you can see it. And it took like nearly £7 in fuel. Seeing as it's Friday and I'm in a really good mood, you're going to get some super unleaded in you. Super duper unleaded. My brother says, don't come here. It's really pricey for the fuel. I don't know what it is, but... Um, you're only talking like six or seven quid. It's irrelevant really, isn't it? So, let's fuel this bad boy up. So what have you all been up to? You been up to anything good? Ooh, 99. We're supposed to go up to E10, aren't we, where fuel's concerned? I'm not quite sure what that means, but who cares? Right, so how much it takes for this to go on 40 a litre. You're on a bike. I can't stand doing it when I've got my gloves on. I don't feel like I've got control. I did this the other day, I think my gloves on. Sent fuel flying everywhere. I just proper fill it, me. Look at all that good stuff. <laughs> you sled. Can you get another 19 P's with him? Oh, yeah, look at that. Seven quid. That'll do me, Mark. You sled. Seven quid. Five litres nearly. Wonderbar. I will say one thing that the Grom's got better than this. It's got the flip fuel flap thing in my bod. 
and that. Come pay a price. So yeah, I hope you've all been doing something good. Just a lot of leather's been hot. Uh, number three, please. Uh, no, I'm okay, thank you. Have a good day, pal. Ooh, Greg's. I'm not a fan of Greg's. Sausage rolls are around, that's about it. In my personal opinion. Seven quid. 4.97 litres. Switch on, God damn it. Let's reset the trips. Is it all? No. Shit, I'm setting the clock here. <laughs> Hang on. Yes, lad. There we go. Ah, so I'm up to, if you can see there, 1,478 miles. Bike hasn't skipped a beat. So. I was worried it was going to run out of fuel. <laughs> Princess and the Peace. PM's warning on what? I don't know. I don't know what that said then. Oh dear me, I didn't put it in second. Because of that, I've got to wait for the bus now and get spotted with diesel fumes. So yeah, I hope you've all been... Uh, some were good and typical when we went away on the Thursday it was dry Friday wet all day and I mean all day it was really annoying and then Saturday it started getting warm and sunny on the day we were coming home I was like can you add them and eat it typical absolutely typical so yeah I reckon uh, I'm, I've not watched any of the Ukraine matches um, are they any good? Um, I think we'll beat them. I think we could go all the way this time. They're really good. I hope we do. That'd just be the icing on the cake after I, I, everything we've all been through. Really would. So yeah, um, I said to my missus when I got home, the first night we were in the hotel, me and Alan had the whole, like, where they, entertain, where they do the entertainment in the room. There was just me and Alan in there. And we were proper, had the barmaid and barman and the night general, what they're called? Them that were up all night and stay up. General manager at night. They were just in stitches because I came down the next day and she went, Oh, uh, excuse me. I says, yes. Isn't this yours? I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. I'd left my umbrella. <laughs> but luckily she'd noticed and put it in her office and she's like oh my god I heard about you and your mate last night you were so funny I was like I didn't do anything stupid did I and she's like no no I'm like oh good but yeah the next night when we were in there because we went over to the Toby Carver till about I don't know 10 o'clock no as a matter of fact we stayed in there until they closed the doors <laughs> it's what we do and then we went back to the hotel and there was a little bit of it, well, entertainment on. And there were just kids running around everywhere and I was thinking to myself, I've not come away for this, I've come away for peace and quiet. Which leads me to my next point. So I turned around to my missus, because we were supposed to be staying in the same hotel in August. And I just said, look, with everybody having a staycation, <coughs> excuse me, the place is going to be rammed. <coughs> Golly. Frog in my throat. Um, I said it really did my head in. I said it weren't like quiet and as peaceful as it were the last time we were there. I said and that's what we go away for. Yes, we're taking my daughter and we're going to be taking my daughter's best friend. You know, so they can keep each other occupied. Um, but I just said to her, like, you know, we come away for peace. So, anyways. This hotel was going to cost us £700 for four nights, bed and breakfast. And that was just for three of us at the time, just me, my missus and my daughter. 
Um, so anyways, she's found an apartment that's literally a five minute stroll to the beach and about a ten minute walk from the Carberry that we enjoy drinking in. £420! Alright, it's only for three nights. She tried to get four but she couldn't um, three nights. And I'm really looking forward to it now. I really, really am. And it's brilliant to be back out on this beast. It really is. I've missed it so much. Like I say, it's uh, making hay. That's nice of him. Another rain drop, I'll put it here over. Let's pull over for the King of Kings, the Benelli. TNT 125. Oh, that visor there. That Mike Fluff made no difference whatsoever. Where was I? I forgot what I was going on about. <laughs> Me all over. Yeah, uh, that's it. I've really missed being on it. And like I say, it's kind of overcastish. It's a bit of blue sky over there. But um, it's going to be chucking it down tomorrow and chucking it down Sunday and raining to next week because we've got that area of low pressure coming in. So I thought I'd get out today and make some videos for you guys and girls. Because it's been, it's been over a week now, I think. Oh no, I tell a lie. I can't remember when I was away on the Thursday, the Friday, if I posted a video. Oh well, it would have been a week. Friday again today. Oh well, yeah. And I've had so many people that say, oh, more videos, more videos. And I'm like, wow, I uploaded the other week. At least five or six, didn't I? And I was noticing on the other video, you can't really see the rim tape on this one, so I'm going to go to my favourite spot up here and show you. If you want it, they do it in 8 pieces and 12 pieces. I went for the 12 pieces, I think I paid about, look at this, I hate this, about £13. And I think it's something like £11 if you want the 8 pieces and they're off eBay. Um, and they do them in all different colours, because uh, Sanjay's ordered some for his. Oh, uh, bug splat right in between. If I had, had my visor on, it would have hit me right on the bridge of the nose. And I don't mind, I just cleaned it before I came out. And I apologise as well in one of my videos. I said, oh, it's going to be shut up here tomorrow. Uh, they're doing Iron Man, is it? It's this Sunday, the 4th of July. And I feel really sorry for them because the weather's supposed to be really bad. I, think, I even think they're supposed to be like, look, see the signs are, uh, yup, the camera won't pick it up. Um, the weather's going to be really bad. Big rain and thunderstorms. They would probably like it. Keep them cool. But all these roads are closed off because I was actually scratching my head where we were going to go on Sunday. But the weather's taking care of that. Won't be going anywhere. But I did find a place. Uh, it's like another reservoir you can walk around. Is it called Jumbles or something? I don't know. Um, And that's where I was thinking ahead of because there's a really, really nice Chinese chip. I was thinking, stop there, get some dinner, and then head off up there. But as I said, the weather's put pay to that. Which I'm going to find so annoying. Dude, what's going on? Can I get past or can I not? Maybe, 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 maybe. I'll probably just flip the inside there, let's find out. Maybe I'll know in here. Road in the house. Squeezy, squeezy, easy, easy. Road in the house. Oh, and I've stolen it. That part of the GT thing. Yes, you couldn't do that in a car, could you? Good little Benelli. That's his fun to buy, eh? They're good, baby. They're good. Sorry, I have a... Uh, all my life, um, 
had a fascination for World War II. Don't know why, from being a little kid, anything World War II that comes on TV that's new, just love it. And I found out, uh, I think it was in 2017, maybe 18, from my cousin who lives in Maryland in the USA. Um, my great grandfather, is it my great grandfather? My dad's granddad. Yeah, my great, no, my, yeah, my dad's granddad would have been my great, yeah. Uh, my great grandfather, German. And uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, and I've been living in Jamaica. Can you get believe that? Oh, somebody been up here having weird gas stuff in them silly little bottles. Oh god. Oh, did you look? Oh, I love coming up here. It's so peaceful. Look at this. Grass in my back. I love it up here. Oh yeah. Hello. <laughs> Yo, you're cute. <laughs> oh yeah, love it up here. Oh yeah, rim tip. Um can you see it now? No. I'm on the back. I hope you can. Yeah. Oh one tip word of advice. Oh my god, I can't believe I did this and I'm gonna admit it. If you've got this bike and you I had some dirt behind here. I, I, went, I had one of them days where I was just cleaning it, like, proper going out here. And there was some dirt behind here, so I thought, if I pull this rubber out, I'll be able to get it. Whatever you do, people, I kid you not, do not pull that out. Because if you do, I did it. It was my mistake, my bad, bag, whatever they say. I had to remove the caliper. I had to take the caliper off. And trust me, um, these, break them iron, dude. Yeah, it was. I undid these. I put the headlock back on when I put them back on. We're solid on. I just managed to get them off. And then I had to undo. What did I undo? I had to undo something. It was a ball ache and a spring clip. I don't even know if I put it back in the right position. Probably not, knowing me. But it's not having any effects on the bike. Um, whatever you do, do not pull that out. It's basically where this caliper uh, slides forwards and backwards as a bar. It, in here, I tried on doing this, not not a chance. Um, and it slides, and basically, you've got to be careful with this because you, you can tear it's filled with grease. Um, so yeah, whatever you do, don't pull it out. Um, uh, there's a bit, oh god, stand up properly there. Thought it was going over then, having one of them days. God, the lake's gone there, my look, reservoir, whatever it were. Last time. Was it the last time I was up here? It was sort of it was a bit breezy. I don't think I was filming that day and it was pushing the water over the edge. Which goes underneath. And all the way down there. Must be another reservoir down there. Yeah. Don't pull that rubber out, folks. It's not good. Right, I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you for watching and being patient and putting up with me. And I've not a clue how long this video is. I do try my best, honestly, not to make them too long. Anyways, folks, enjoy the rain at the weekend. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye now.